of this contest, what? Mr. Ignatius Bitter Ladies. Exactly. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Lincoln Hudson, out of the ultimate training centre, wearing black trunks with white trim, official weight 62.95 kilograms. He's currently ranked number two in Australia. He is the former Australian and Asia Pacific champion. 20 fights, 17 wins, two draws, nine ending by knockout, representing Copacabana, New South Wales, Steve who wills? And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Todd Maitland out of Out West Fight Club, wearing black trunks with gold and white trim, official weight 62.9 kilograms. He is ranked number one on the A and BF ranking, ranked number three on Box Rec. 29 fights, 23 wins, three draws, 13 ending by knockout. Born in the Philippines, now living out of Campbelltown, New South Wales. He is the Caesar of Bahal. Caesar Aman Sad. Both fighters are centering for referees' instructions. Caesar, all right, guys, I'll explain the rules to you. And I want you to obey them, okay, at all times. When I say break, that means break, understand? Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now and good luck. A big one with Brett 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 from Mad Max beyond Thunderdome, and he's about as fearless as Max as well. Caesar Amon site. Peter's there. Up against a guy that just wants to fight. Stevie Wells, we've followed his career closely since he debuted all the way back in 2007. Twelve three-minute rounds for the vacant PABA light welterweight title. 140-pound right on 63 and one-half kilos or 10 stone. We've got two left-handers, both southpaws. Wills in the solid black trunks. On site. With the sponsorship. When I say break, you let go. When I say break, Steve, pull away. Break, you let go. This could genuinely be anything. Yeah, that's for sure. And look, really interesting. Will's come out then and went flat strap and then caught a right hook from Caesar Amonsot and back straight up. So whether that power of Amonsot got to, to Stevie Will's early, we're about to find out. Watch the elbow, watch the elbow. Not too over the elbow, Steve. Just love the Wills family, brother Adam here in attendance, long-time supporters of the industry. Oh. Bizarre. Went for the uppercut. Wills came around the corner and had the better of the first exchange. It was almost identical second time round. You said uh, Caesar could have been a, a, an extra in the movie Mad Max. Well, let me tell you, the Wills brothers could have been right next to him in there. Want a break? Don't punch. Understand? Box. Nice left hook from Stevie Wills. Oh, chopping right hook from the mod side. A mod side is going to stand there and fight you. Yep. you. You know that. We know that from that memorable fight, that epic battle with Mick Katsidis for the interim world lightweight title go, back in 2007. I love that about the sport. You know, a fighter's remembered from his war with another fighter. That war with Katsidis in a mod side, it'll be talked about for a there long, go, long go, time still. Go. Okay, go. Come here, come here, both of you guys. Come here, come here, come here. Time. Listen, listen, guys. I will take a point off one of you, okay? There will be a point deduction. When I say break, that means stop punching, take a step back, okay? Fair enough? Time. Box. I think it's probably smart by the referee. It is, it is going to get ugly. It's going to be a real battle of wills here and the referee needs to assert his authority go, early as well. Let it go, Steve. Yeah, That's you see Stevie Wills is trying to walk through the referee to death Box. there. Caesar and Watson. Now, a little bit of blood from Willsy here. Not sure if it's nose under the eye or above the eye. Let it go, boys. Let it go. He has been caught. Okay, okay. One point oh, off for right. punching after wow. break. One point off for punching after break. Please. One point off for punching after break. When I say break, don't punch. Let's go. Fight. 
I'm not in agreement with that. That was dead on the bell, on the uh, call. Could have given him a warning. It's, uh, I don't, it's that's huge. A, a yep. loss of points in round number one. Let it go, boys. Separate. Somehow I don't think it's going to be the last <laughs> point deduction before no. the night is out. That's it, round number one. It's round number two, two of 12 for the Bacon PABA light, well to wait title. Stevie down. Will, Caesar, and go. Bonsai. Go. That's the way, boys. Box. Referee happy with a clean break there, and Monsai with that cutting right hand. Yes, yeah, sharp with it. Good variation on it. Okay, when he ducks, don't grab his head, okay? Don't grab it, okay? Jab from Wills, but it's that punch I think that Wills is going to get caught with from Caesar and Monson. As he jabs, the left, the right hand, sorry, comes back pretty low, and Monson's already onto it. Oh, left hand from Monson. Getting through the range, getting onto the inside. He's really ch charging in. Looks a little tense, a little affected by the emotion, the nerves perhaps at the moment. As a result, loading up a little. Love to see Steve just a little more free flowing. That will come the longer the fight goes. Good left hand from Wills. Beautiful left hand. But we've seen a lot of the world. Oh, oh, Steve, he's hurt bad here. He's been tagged with something and he is rubber leg and in a whole heap of trouble back against the ropes. But there is no quit in Stephen Wills. Hell no. He's still on wobbly legs. He's holding on for good life. 90 seconds remaining in the round. Steve Wills needs to hold on here. Caesar Monsot going to work. Wills needs to lock him up. There's too much time left in the round. He's getting tagged too much here against the ropes. Moving forward and trying to hold on, but he just wants to fight. Steve Wills. Yeah. Little right hand in the middle of it. A monster yet to register with that one big shot. But Will's still no good on his legs and is taking quite a pounding here. The referee having a good long look at this. And Will's is trying to fight let it go, back. Let it go, let it go. That's right. better from let Will's. Go, he needs to just keep holding on. One, two, tie him up's the call from trainer Lincoln Hudson. What's your point? Oh, your Stevie point? goes a little south. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. 30 seconds to go. And Steve Wills make it to the end of the round. Another big shot from Amonsop and a good left hand there from Wills. Let it go. That's the ticker on this guy. Oh, amazing. Let it go, guys. Let it go, let it go. Time, over there. Time. Time. Yeah, a little bit worried, just see. Over there. Where are you? The maddest fight of my life. Oh, I've never seen that before. Oh, oh left hand. hand. Come on, Stevie Wills. Get through the round. He needs the 60-second break. And it looked unlikely that he would get it. But a big decision now for Lincoln Hudson and the court. Dr. Peter Lewis having a chat with Lincoln Hudson at the moment. And Lincoln, he's been clever here. He's trying to get every available second. Oh, oh good Wills job from Wills. Or did Wills started with a, with a left and a Monsot responded with a hell of a receipt. Oh, he's gone, Wills. That's it. Steve Wills has been stopped in round number three.
Ladies and gentlemen, 58 seconds into round number three. This fight was ended, declaring your winner by knockout and new PABA light welterweight champion, Stasisara Bob.